not looking at. She is one crazy bird. No, Ruby, no. No, 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 no. It's a oh, German tradition. Just, yeah, a real pickle? No, an ornament pickle. Where do you hide it? On and the then, tree? Yeah, so I hide it somewhere in the tree, and then kids have to look for it. And whoever finds it first, then they get an extra little pie. Oh! You yeah. love your pie. I sure do. And I really need yeah, it. She is not doing well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but she's done that before where she's been puffy. And she no, just she's, wasn't feeling well. she's not eating. Ruby. Now, okay. Oh. All right. Love you, Ruby. Move right off. Thanks, Mama. Christmas day, I just woke up and Ruby is eating and I'm very happy about that. What does it mean? It's your top chakra and it represents like spiritual awareness and all of that. So I keep it on, like, especially when I'm sleeping, because I'm like, okay, those purple <laughs> Each friend we have brings out a different side to us, and Hannah genuinely wants the best for everyone, and she's very spiritual and in tune with her emotions and her mood and how energy can affect relationships and all of that. So she definitely helps bring out that side to me, and she invited me over, and she's like, hey, do you want to make vision boards so we can, like, plan out what we want and what we hope for the new year. And I'm like, let's do it. And I've always been super into art and being creative. So it's just another opportunity to do that. Do you like my shirt? It's just slaying it. so cute. You are slaying it. We are making our vision boards and we are gonna create what we want in our lives to show who we are as people. Doing a little pan. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna explain my my vision board today. So we've got healthy mind, healthy life. You have a healthy mind, then you can live a healthy life in all the other directions. That's so true. So Chase, you're amazing. That's something you gave me was this. I'm always chasing my dream to go to California. I hope to go there one day. So it's like chasing my dream for the, the happiness that I want. And finding my home is like finding where I belong. Aww. And then I love animals. <laughs> Um, Cute ass little sparkly pug. <laughs> I, I love, love my it. fitness. Um, this two, 2020, not only is this upcoming year, but it's it represents perfect vision. 2020. That was so perfect. And I want a clear vision of what I want to do with my life. So that's what that is. And then the ring is like a promise ring to myself to try to fulfill that. Oh, that is so awesome. So then this is a guy breathing fire into me, breathing in life. I love how you cut him up. I yeah, like you cut that page a little up. artsy. <laughs> and then our lungs are essential to life. Take a deep breath. Staying calm and present is what's most important. And then this represents making sure I have my individuality and I stand out and be authentic to myself. That so is, that is my vision board. That is so cute. Thank you. Okay. This is my board. This little thing is purple. 
Don't mind my messy room. I think purple is my favorite color. And it's like your spiritual awareness and spiritual growth and just mindfulness and all of that stuff. So I have sun and a moon on here. And those, I don't know, those have both always been really symbolic to me. I have the sun here. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sun here and then the moon here. The moon kind of represents like wisdom, spiritual, like awakening. And then the sun has always represented to me just like a fire and passion for life and love, that. love and growth. Um, just lots of nature because I feel like nature... To me, the butterfly looks like a metamorphosis with the crystal on it. Oh, it totally does. Like it's transformed. It's and this is like- Change I, is coming. I think both of ours are kind of like 2020, like whatever. <laughs> right. 2020 vision, you know. Clear. But butterflies have had like a lot of meaning to me too lately. Crystals, obviously. Like I love crystals. I just love what they represent. And then and what about the flower? The flower, um, I actually have like little dead flowers. <laughs> Next to my little dead. And angel. <laughs> but, um, just represents like life and also it reminds me a lot of my grandma because this is like her favorite color and uh -huh. she loves flowers. She's like the biggest gardener. So, and then the quote says, in an age of speed, I began to think nothing could be more invigorating than going slow. In an age of distraction, nothing can feel more luxurious than paying attention. And in an age of constant movement, nothing is more urgent than sitting still. And I just think it fits really well with like the purple chakra and what I kind of want to be focusing on going into the next year. Just like really slowing things down. In my chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, just really slowing things down and being more present and aware. I love that. Thank you, Hannah. This is so much fun. I love, I love this. I love you too. Hannah, you're wonderful, and thank you for coming into my life, and I appreciate you so much.